I'm making this video because I am pretty psyched. I got the first, I think it's the first comment that I got from somebody that doesn't already know me. Uh, Jonathan asking me if I could explain how to connect the gimbal, the Zihyun, Zihyun, Weibull 3 to the Sony A7 IV. Uh, actually, I got two comments asking for the same content. So, I was just gonna go over that. Um, so here is the Weeble 3. And I already got the camera balanced. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press the power button to turn it on. And I don't know if you can see here, but... Okay, so now it's gone into place and I can, I don't have all the uh, accessories attached, but you know, you see it's doing what it's supposed to do. And let me set this aside here for a second. I think where the confusion comes in is if you can see here, there's a port right here on the back side. It's got an icon that of a camera, there's a slash, and then there's an icon of the DJI transmission system, uh, not DJI, what am I saying? The Xian image transmission system sold separately. So that side's USB-C, and then on the other side, on the A7 IV, you've got control ports. One is USB-C, the other one is micro USB. And I don't know for what reason, but Zihen decided to go for the micro USB. The Weibo 3 comes with this bag of a whole bunch of different cables. And I think here's where the confusion comes in. For the control cables, depending on what camera you're using, you need to use a different cable, which is understandable. There's USB-C to USB-C, USB-C to, to mini USB, I think it is. I don't know who the hell uses that anymore. They've got two cables that are both USB-C on one end, and the other end is a micro USB. And they're not interchangeable. They plug in exactly the same way, but their numbers are, there's this little tag. There's these code numbers on them. It has to be the one that says type C to multi USB LN dash UCUS dash A03. And not any of the other USB C to micro USB cables. If you use the wrong cable, even though it's the same USB C, uh, micro USB-C, it will not work. The other thing to keep in mind is that in the menu of the Alpha 7, so sorry it's in Japanese, but I hope you get the idea. You go to the, you go to the toolbox. This toolbox, I forgot what it's called in the English version, at least on my camera you scroll down all the way to usb and you make sure it's in japanese but i think on the english mode it's called usb mode you make sure that it's set to pc remote i'm gonna turn it back on so i'm gonna go to the zy play app right here and swipe till I see the Weeble 3 and press connect now. And I get the screen here and connect. And once it's connected, enter. And I get this screen where It's like this joystick that, can you see? You know, that's moving next to me. 
and this is the Dutch roll. And if I press record, you can't see from there, yes, but it recorded. Press it again and I can stop recording. One more other interesting is, I wish I had a better way to do this. I press this button here and sync motion. So what this does is in sync motion mode, there's this unlabeled button right here. When I press that, that's going to activate sync motion. What that means is, so I'm going to press it and then from here on, tilt up, tilt down, left, right. I've never used this in practice. I turned off the, uh, the roll axis. I can turn it on, but it gets way too kind of complicated because you gotta hold this like really steady. Yeah, I don't know. I have never used it, but I think you'd have to turn on the roll axis to make it usable, but it is kind of cool. <laughs> But there's one shortcoming to this that I've realized. Um, if you've been, if anybody's been watching my other uh, videos, I've been trying to mount this guy on a car and the Wi-Fi signal is so weak that once I'm inside the car, I cannot, I can no longer control the gimbal that is mounted right outside the car, like pretty much on my hood, which is a big bummer. <laughs> Uh, so this way you can control the camera, but there's still no way to monitor what you're actually shooting. That's where this product comes in. So I was wondering whether I should buy this or not, because I couldn't tell if it was compatible with the Xeon Weeble 3. If you go to the website, it's listed under the category of accessories for the Weeble 3, but when you actually go into the specs page, it mentions the Weeble 2, but nothing about the Weeble 3. So uh, this is what it looks like. It's pretty much a transmitter that gets your image out so that you can see what you're doing. And I already mounted the plate here. So it slides once you got the plate on slides on so that control cable that initially went from the gimbal to the camera it's now gonna go from this port on the transmitter and then I'm gonna take a full-size HDMI to mini HDMI here and then it's hard to see but there's another USB-C on this side it's got an icon that looks like it's a charging port plug in from there USB-C into the same port that was originally attached to the camera. So now that it's all connected, I'm gonna turn the camera on, turn the gimbal on. And then I'm gonna long press the button on the front of the What's it called? The Weibel Trans, no, the Zeehan Transmount Video Transmission Transmitter AI. <laughs> and it looks like everything's up and running. So this time, the process is a little bit different. I'm using the, an iPhone. So first I have to go to Wi-Fi. 
Zihin Tech 4303. The default password is 12345678. And then I go into the ZY Play app again. And this time I'm not going to get connect to the gimbal. I'm going to scroll and I'm going to connect to the transmitter. Enter now. And first it just gives me a blank screen until I press this button that says live. At which point it gives me shows me what it's showing. And I've got this little like joysticky thing here. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Which controls the gimbal so I can actually see what I'm doing. It's got, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you can see this. I'll turn it around. So you can see that when I press the record button Yeah, it's hard to see, but it's recording now, and then you can stop it. Um, it's also got... I haven't totally figured this out yet. Pretty much it's got all the functions that I just showed you with the control app, but with the ability to see what you're shooting, overlay, uh, uh, focus assist, vector scopes, whatnot. You can load up LUTs, which I haven't really tried. So that's all cool but it still suffers from the same problem of the wi limited Wi-Fi. And also it claims that you can change all of the settings on the camera, such as ISO, white balance, but for some reason I have not been able to get that to work. It's just when you try to use it, it ignores you. And this might have been kind of stupid of me, but I just couldn't resist. So this is the Zihin Master Eye Visual Controller BC100. And the reason I got this is because it says it's compatible with the Transmount Video Transmission Transmitter AI. This guy right here. And this thing, it's a monitor, controller, it's got a zoom rocker, it's got ISO, aperture, EV, white balance, like buttons for that, this style here, a focus ring here, um, everything you'd want with a built-in monitor. Let me turn it on. It's got its internal battery, but you can also attach NPF type batteries here. And the reason I got it is because it's only $349. So I thought, okay, if it goes wrong, if it doesn't work the way it's supposed to, it's not the end of the world. So I turn it on and I get this screen. Oh, actually, you know, it connected automatically. And this joystick works, but nothing else works. Um, I press any of these buttons like ISO, aperture, this wheel, nothing works. One thing that does work is if I press the F1 button, it does that uh, gyroscopic uh, movement, which I don't know how useful that really is. So that works, joysticks work, and I also have a monitor that's, you know, bright enough. Again, the downside is though that, downside is, is the transmission distance. If it can't go between a car's windshield, that kind of limits how useful it is. 
and it doesn't work as advertised. The physical buttons on the bottom will control things like aperture, shutter speed, exposure value, ISO, and white balance. On the left of the unit, you'll find the follow focus wheel, micro SD card slot, headphone jack, and USB-C charging port. And on the handle, you'll find the aperture dial. But that being said, the Weeble itself is, the, the price went down to 379, the transmitter is like $200, and this monitor slash remote controller is $350. So I guess what you pay is what you get. I don't know, maybe all of this stuff will be fixed in a future firmware, hopefully. But I guess for the price, I'm not complaining. Maybe it's my problem, I've got the settings wrong. But for the money I paid, I think it's worth it. So that's my conclusion on the Weevil 3 uh, used with the Transmount Video Transmission, Transmitter AI, that's a wordful, and the Master Eye Visual Controller VC100. Yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them as to the best of my knowledge. Um, if you could leave that in the comments. Thanks a lot. Bye.